Hi guys, it's Wednesday afternoon, almost 2.30, and uh, I've got errands to run, but I'm just <laughs> waiting for some cramp in my abdomen to piss off. Well, it feels like cramp, anyway, it's a pain of some sort, Ooh. and it really does, it feels like muscular cramp, because it's I only want to do a certain move. Oh, but I don't really want to go riding a bicycle thing like this. Anyway, speaking of bikes, this is pretty much done. It's a bit of a custom job because it's only got the front brake, it's only got the rear gears. Only got the front brake because it's meant to have a 27 inch wheel in the back, and I would guess in the front as well if you had the correct forks they're forks that take a 26 inch wheel so I don't have 27 inch wheels let alone a set of forks that take a 27 inch wheel oh actually yes I have but they're the wrong diameter for this so they wouldn't have fit in the frame anyway um, I'm gonna take it down with me when I go downstairs and the camera, so I can take a photograph of it and just give it a quick test ride, make sure the gears are working. That's the only thing I've got to make sure of, that the gears are working. Mm. Pardon me. Um, and I was going to change the tyres, but I think these tyres actually suit it. Big, chunk. it's like a downhill bike, isn't it? But, uh, yeah, it needs a clean. I'll give it a clean down before like, anyone interested comes to look at it. I've got a bunch of this stuff up on eBay. I've got three set pairs of calipers and two handlebar stems. Ooh, someone's cooking dinner in the block. Any <laughs> anyway, uh, two items I believe I've got watches on. But I can guarantee if I sell anything it won't be till the weekend anyway for some reason that just seems to be the time when things sell so I don't know if it's because people are you know perhaps got the weekend off so they've got more time to sit and browse eBay and Gumtree and whatnot so they do or if it's a case of Friday is payday so they spend the money at the weekend or can't spend any money till the weekend who knows probably a bit of both probably lots of reasons but I mean, the number of bikes I've listed on sort of like a Monday, Tuesday, and nine times out of ten I won't get even a message until at least Thursday. At least Thursday. But those items I put on eBay, they're up there for 30 days, buy it now or best offer, so <coughs> that's what I like about doing it that way, I can just leave them there. Well, I've done that before and actually forgot about them and then had a message saying, where's my item? And I hadn't even realised anything had sold. <laughs> oh. Trying to stretch and see if that helps it. Right. I've got to drop this in at the doctor's service, which is my repeat prescription. I'm going to stick that in my wallet. Someone's dinner really does smell nice. I put my antidepressants down on that repeat prescription, but then I found I didn't really need them. Because I've got another one, two, three, four, five days left on the tray. Oh, it was one of my um one of my um diabetic pills I was I've actually ran out I've run out today. But I do still have these in reserve, so these are sixty milligrams, I think. Are they? Eighty milligram. So one of these is a bit more, only a little bit more than the two I take normally. 
Um, so these two pills would last two days. That's pretty much why I keep them hanging around. They're just a reserve. Pretty certain I don't have any of the others left. I've not seen a tray anyway. I've got plenty of metformin. I'm not worried about that. That whole box full of it there. But I haven't seen trays of the glycoside. So I am presuming there's another tray of my reserve ones. I do need Mum to get. Ah, that's what I forgot to. Mm. Well, she should be ringing tonight, so I'll remind her then to bring my um, painkillers and an acids with her tomorrow. She's got work tomorrow. Um, she's had, she had annual leave, and then she got that horrible cold while she was on annual leave, and had a few extra days off. And she's back at work tomorrow. Right. I'm going to say something about a camera now, and it's about the one I'm using. It's a Vivitar brand, and it's DVR-508NHD. Don't get Vivitar cameras, because to me, they are just... they're shit. They're cheap, but shit. The um, operating software on this is shit. This is actually randomly throwing up card errors. Goes to shut off, but just sits on the Vivitar startup screen. I have to pop the battery out to turn it off. That's one thing it does. Another thing it starts to do is, if I now hit the um, stop recording button, and then go to record again, like a few seconds afterwards, it will just freeze. It won't record, it will just sit on a frozen picture. Then I'll press the record button again and um, it'll go back to moving around. So there is a. <laughs> the operating system on this isn't the best. The video quality, mm, it's not too bad on the setting I've got. I've had worse, I've seen a lot worse. No. Oh, pardon me. So, um, but I had that issue, well actually I'm not sure, it could have been my editor that did it, but um, I tried it on HD setting and uh, not only does it actually chew up a hell of a lot of your memory card space, <laughs> which isn't a bad thing, um, but the audio was out of sync. I can't, I actually can't, I'm going to try that again someday, because I can't remember if it was, I noticed that after I ran the video through the editor, or before. Ooh, pardon me, right. I've got that pile of crap I still want to get rid of on that trailer, and a few bits stacking up up here as well. Oh, I took that Claude Butler frame to Mum's, put it in a vice, and that bottom bracket will not come off. It's well and truly seized. If I was going to repaint the frame, I would have taken a torch to it and heated it up, but you don't really want to do that unless you're going to repaint the frame, because obviously the heat is going to damage the paint. It's going to burn the paint off. Of course, I don't want to repaint the frame, so... That was kind of uh, out of the question. Right. I've got the thing. I might put a coat on because that wind is rather cold today. So I'll take that bike down. I believe it would work. I don't Yes, it will be working. <laughs> it's an extremely simple bike. And there's not a lot that can go wrong on it. 
has only got the rear gears front brake. <laughs> that is it. It's one. What that is the reason why I built this one up for the um, Barracuda I've got through here. Because that one's going to get the full works. I've got. Yeah, I've got a crank somewhere. I can't remember where it is. It did have one on there, but I nicked it for something. What did I take it off and put it on? You know, I can't remember what bike I put it on to, mate. Some bike I did. <laughs> uh, hmm. Choose a pair of forks to put in it. Uh, <laughs> All right. Hmm, I'm actually tempted to do some playing around with this one, to be honest. When I've got that one downstairs out of the way, I'll take it up the corner out of the way. Just so misery guts downstairs don't complain. Even though the bikes I lock up when I'm selling out back are never there for very long. But, you know what some people can be like. Oh, look, padlock. Oh, look, I can't even remember where that come from. Well, that reminds me, I want to get a new lock for the shed door. Right. Oh yeah. This, as you can probably tell, is a section of bicycle tyre. That someone had wrapped around this frame. Like that. And it was zip tied on. As a frame protector, you can get the um, sticky on ones, which it did have. Look. I thought they had. Someone's actually painted this bike. And they've uh, done a bad job. There's a few areas. I'm going to see if I can get some white paint when I'm in town and just uh, touch it up. But this one probably won't be a, uh, a big... Actually, I might change the wheels in this, to be honest. These are good wheels. Mm. I'll have a look. I'll have a look, see, see what I've got. See, oh, I need to go to Little's as well. So I want something for dinner. And I'll top up with cola if they've got a six pack. They didn't yesterday, but they may have restocked the shelves today. If they've got any in stock, and if they've. Uh, Um, had a delivery if they haven't got any in stock. along to three o'clock slowly. I'm going to disappear and uh, take this bike downstairs and make sure it rides. Can't see why not. <laughs> Such a simple bike, but we'll see if it rides. I'll uh, think with a bit of a tidy up. I've got some white enamel paint, but that's not going to last. I'll see what QDs I've got. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Hmm. It's changed colour. Well, that's because it's a different frame. <laughs> I totally effed up the um, white frame. I effed up the paint job, so... Instead of... Fa well, the only way to fix it would be to do exactly what I've done. To strip it right down and... Uh, you know, rub it down and... Um, completely redo it. So, I decided just to throw all the parts on the Barracuda Banshee so sitting here we've just got a bike with a six speed rear single speed front V brakes I think it, it's just taken me about an hour and a half to put it together 
and that includes taking the other one apart which is actually sitting in the hallway so that job's done and uh, I put that on eBay about an hour and a half ago before I started on the bike actually so yeah about an hour and a half ago same with the RC car stuck them both up but no 15 quid right they've already sold both <laughs> someone put an offering of 10 pounds but someone else had hit the bar now before I had a chance to see that someone had put an offer in so <laughs> there's a lot of kids walking out there tonight hmm. it's putting me on edge because that bike still isn't locked up I'm going to have to go and resolve that anyway I'm sort of thinking now what else have I got I kind of knew that that Lenovo Idea Pad Flex 10 would uh, probably sell just like that. I didn't think the radio controlled car would. I haven't got a clue what it's worth, you know. I'm happy with 15 quid. It's probably worth a lot more than that. I've probably lost out, but I've got it for free. Who cares? <laughs> I suppose technically I swapped this Lenovo for the um, HP. Yeah, HP. <laughs> so, besides, the guy I got both of these from, just in case anyone think I'm taking the piss by selling them like that, he, I gave him that um, tablet, the big black tablet I had, and he went and sold that to Black Records. <laughs> it's currently sitting in Black Records for 20 quid. I take them the piss. I suppose I'm not in a sense because they are mine. I traded the car for that computer, monitor, keyboard, and mouse. <clears throat> but he's weird. He's just spent 350 quid on a brand new bike. Now he wants to sell it for 300 quid. He's only had it about a week. It's weird. When I was their age, I wouldn't have been allowed out after dark. They've got to be, I don't know, about 14, 13, 14. I just walked past, you know. After dark, we weren't allowed out, even during summer. Same as most kids on the estate I grew up on. As soon as streetlights came on, that was you know, our indication to go home. <clears throat> so, I don't think these kids realise how lucky they are that, so, that some of their parents are so lapsed that they'll let them walk around in the pitch black like this. I know it's only 10 to 8, but it is dark. <clears throat> like I said, I certainly wouldn't be allowed out. The only thing I half inched out of that Lenovo idea pad was the Wi Fi card. And I did say in the advert that it's missing. I wasn't going to, but I thought I'd better, just in case, you know, someone gets it and then goes, hey, no Wi Fi card. And I've got to find the brand new adapter. It's probably worth 15 quid for the brand new adapter alone. Actually, I know it is. My buddy came up early and he was sitting on the chair with these on there, so I'm just hoping they haven't been broken. Fuck myself. I saw that friggin' lock down there. Uh, I suppose I could, well, apart from the two laptops. <laughs> yeah. Apart from those. Um, but everything else has got to go. Yeah everything else can go. 
Right. He's in his box. I could get photos of the Mavic rim and uh, get that up on eBay. And I've got a shed load of wheels at Mum's I could sell. I suppose eventually the bike parts I've got up will sell. I think I've actually got three more items I can list because I'm still fucking restricted. I don't get it. I keep selling stuff, but and getting positive feedback and whatnot, but still, eBay has not lifted my restrictions. I've been like it for about a year and it's pissed me off. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to do. I think I'll boot up the wheels I want to put in this and get them in here so I can actually roll it around. Because uh, the inner tube is good in that wheel. So yeah, I'll go and get the two wheels I want. Get them booted up, tubed up. And uh, thrown in here. Because I need to get up that corner. Because I forgot I had these speakers. I'm going to try those. On that stereo and see what they sound like. See if they sound any better, any worse. or Because they're actually Technics surround sound speakers. Failing that, I can eBay those as well. <laughs> I've been tempted to eBay that, but... I wouldn't post it because that's far too heavy. Far, far, far too heavy. Right. Yeah, those are the pair of wheels I want to chuck in the Schwinn. Chuck in the Schwinn? <laughs> a couple of tyres. I need to find a couple of decent tyres for um, the Giant. Because once I've done the Schwinn, that's going to be the next project. Because I've got the bottom bracket there that I want to fit. If I can get the um, right side cut off. I'm always a bitch. Uh, yeah, I heard our fire engine go out about half an hour after a bunch of other sirens. But the only incident that's coming up is at Chroma. Which is about eight miles from here. Right, I bought that little tub as well. I'm going to put all my little electrical bits and pieces in it, such as motors, switches, connectors. I've got all my crimps and things in the top there, as you can probably see. So I'm going to get all the, well, what we call connector blocks, or, well, when I was little I always heard them called chocolate blocks. <laughs> Terminal blocks, I think, is the actual correct term. Oh, there's that Wi-Fi card out there and over. I just thought that would be a good item to keep hold of. Um, oh, look, another pair. Those ones aren't actually photographed. Oh. These things! I've got these dotted around everywhere in this flat. In various tubs and... I don't friggin' know what else. I have. I've got loads dotted everywhere. So I'm just going to go through here and make sure... A quick running spit skewer can go in there. Pedal reflectors. Another crocky clip. Go with the other miscue bits. What have we got here? Ooh. Ah! Screwdriver bit that goes in a tool thing that's in there. Or oh, it should be up there. More tools and screws and drills and screws. Yep. Nothing else. 80 gigabyte hard drive came out of the, Len the Lenovo as well. Don't know if that's any good. That's the one that was originally with it. Not the one I um, gave him to try. Don't know why he thought the hard drive was the issue, but never mind. I could have told him that weren't the issue, but I don't think he would have listened, to be honest. <laughs> uh, let's see if I've got any tubs anywhere full of random crap. 
No doubt I've got some more somewhere. <laughs> right, so. clips in there. I've got the crimps sorted into three groups at the moment. I've got these ones which are like the pronged ends. I think I've got the eyelet ones and then the spade ones in here of both types, male and female types are all up there. And chocolate blocks I was going to put in there. And then like I said all motors and switches and other doodads We'll go in the main box. I only paid a couple of quid for the box, so. But I have got a tray somewhere full of chocolate blocks. I've just got to remember where I chucked it. <laughs> it was in the hallway, but I have since cleaned up. Oh, it'll turn up. I don't need it right this minute. I've got these old cameras. I could chuck those up on eBay as well. Right, well I'm going to try those Technic speakers out in a little while. Once I've got some wheels in there so I can actually roll it around and move it. <laughs> uh, so I've got this box of shite here to go through. This box I need to empty because uh, my radio control car is going to have to go in that and I'll my Hermes that to them. I'll uh, get all that done tomorrow. Data switch. I've actually got two of these. I've got this one. And I've got that other one I got free the other day. Oh, for peace sake. Sorry, Mum. No doubt Mum will find something in my laundry basket. She usually does. Lay a bit of card in there just to block... Block that hole up. And uh, I'm sure I can cut cardboard box up to put a lid on this. Perhaps I could pinch the um, tabs off of Shipbrick's box. Not while he's sleeping in it though. I only want the tabs. I don't know if I've got anything else though. Right. That's the box. Car will go in there. I'll just put some, some padding in the bottom. Uh, put the shell on the chassis and put the charger inside the actual car as well and then the car and the controller should sit in there all padded out right, so they tape it up print the my Hermes label off and Bob's your uncle that can be collected Friday I'll book it for Friday uh, Yeah, that's not going to need a very big box, is it? But I, th I do believe the charger is buried under all them instructions and shit there. So, I'm going to have to go through that lot and... In fact... No, nope, that's a US of B... Oh, I found it. <laughs> it's there. Complete with a free mouse. Um, I'll include everything. I'll include the power lead as well. Even though the um, cloverleaf power cables are uh, fairly common anyway. I do apologise for that piss poor camera work. I was trying to uh, untangle this. Right, so that's all that's got to go with that. Brand spanking new charger. It always worries me that people have bought something not realising it spares or repairs but I do do refunds if they can return it I'll do refunds but I'm, I'm actually looking around to see what else I could put on eBay you know what can I sell <laughs> got my Xbox 360 I could sell that But then again, nah, I'll keep hold of that for the time being at least. Right. 
and won't be doing much apart from what I've already stated putting tyres and tubes on those wheels and putting the wheels in said bike through there or maybe at least the back wheel <laughs> uh, nah fuck it might as well do both and it's done isn't it right get some of these wheels in here out of the way I've got a front wheel and two tyres this Barracuda is actually looking rather nice. It's a pity that it's dark outside because I could have taken a photo of it and got it up for sale ready. Because that won't sell till the weekend anyway. Right, well less rambling. I'm going to get some shit done. So thanks a lot for watching. Um, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. I'm not sure when, but it will be at some point tomorrow. So... Uh, Bye.